Okay, this video I'll talk about translating a sentence or multiple sentence into an algebraic expression or equation. So often students, you know, say, oh, I can really easily solve equation. But problem is I cannot translate it. Well, I believe you have some issue with understanding the sign, the meaning. For example, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. When do we use it? So I'm here to help you here a little bit. Let's see after this video, you will have more confident on it i believe okay so let's actually go on to the first one addition so what does this sign on addition actually so many of you know addition is basically plus subtraction is minus multiplication is this dot and or star or there is another one often in close parentheses or and there is another one i want to mention this also tells you multiplication two times w even though there is nothing in between but there is a w is unknown we don't know what is that so there is a multiplication going on in between also down here i want to tell you that this is a multiplication going on here right then of course division so there is a one commonly used division and this is a forward slash and also this is a long division when you use it right and forward slash is basically ratio a over b okay and this one is equal sign so well if you know when to use those right we shouldn't have any issue okay so first of all let's actually find out when we call it sum so sum means addition but how okay so i'm going to show you up here on the top right so up here on the top so five plus three equal to eight clearly that is going to be your sum okay that is going to be your sum so when you add two or more number the answer you get we call it sum so every time this is sum that means right or you know you're going to add okay subtraction let's take a look here subtraction so five minus three equal to two so guess what that is your difference well in this case i'm referring basically here difference referring to difference okay so the answer you get after you subtracting we call it difference now the product here you go the next one is product okay so same issue same thing here right so if you multiply 5 times 2 or 3 doesn't matter which is 10 and we call this one here as a product okay so I have one more here the quotient okay so when do we call it quotient quotient is 15 divided by 3 let's actually write a little bit left here 15 divided by 3 equal to 5 so that is our quotient that one is our quotient okay so when we use what look when you add you get the answer we call it sum when you subtract you get the answer we call it difference when you multiply you get the answer well i can put down this star marks here also that's multiplication we call it product when you divide you get a quotient okay so and when you have equal sign or in this case is is going to be equal actually okay so look i'm going to go down scroll down a little bit here right okay so for example if something is thrown out to you the sum of eight and a number so we must know what is sum i just explain you what is sum down here down there up there right what is sum and what how do we translate it okay so as you see there is a difference and there is a lot of thing less than right so we must know th those first the keyword so therefore i'm here to go over this with you okay so first thing here is plus look at that when you come up with something called you know 10 plus 5 that means you adding add it to more than you know you just eyeball it basically basically you eyeball it for the video eyeball it you know you, i don't have to go over it but i want to actually underline a couple of them here okay this one is a multiplication is very very important this one is very useful this one is useful and of course those i circle down this is useful very very useful very often you want to see those okay and of course equals and you see those many times and of course um, less than greater than and so on almost everything as you see right but those are basically the top one to pay attention okay now i'm going to go down here 
okay actually i can go a little bit here yeah so i can do those two problem okay so i'm gonna erase it here okay the sum of eight and a number oh, by the way this is just an expression there is no is so it's no equal so no equation so the sum of eight and a number remember n tells you what to do n tells you that you're gonna do you know we're gonna find a sum so eight plus n tells you to return positive or addition a number which is in your choice x y z anything guys that's it you just translate it an expression into sorry and send a sentence into an expression okay that's it all right so let's make the next one so the difference of five difference of five and a number okay so look at here n doesn't tell you that you're going to add look n tells you what to do n tells you that you're going to find the difference okay and tells you find the difference so clearly i can say five five and is difference so minus x or y in your choice anything you want to do any or you want to do so five minus x or any letter n whatever n is fine too okay all right so that would be your answer here also on this specific one remember n doesn't tell you you are adding n tells you and referring to something else okay all right now this one is the confusing one for some student okay usually students said five less than a number they come up with this five minus x or five minus n that's what they do five minus n or five minus x you know what that is not good okay so now look i want to make sure here you know show you here this two thing here if you see then th and then and from from okay then and from in any sentence any sentence okay any sentence this one is going to be the starting s t a r t starting point starting point point and that would be the end ending point or end okay so this is the two word really you have to be careful from means what there is some starting point there is some origin so we have to really have that first on the front line okay compare then less than less than what that is something you're comparing so that must be first okay so down here as you see five less than a number less than what less than a number that must be first so you see i said start it so that is going to come first starting i'm starting a number which is x i'm using x all the time you can use n whatever in your choice right x less than of course obviously you know is minus five notice that what i did guys look at here okay so that should be our answer not anything else okay so look this is going to be a number which is going to be starting point that number is going to be the starting point and ending should be that should be your end point less than you know before less than that is five so that should be your end as you clearly see okay so please pay attention only time is many times many students make this mistake on this one okay all right let's take a look on the next one here i have a couple of more actually down here okay the quotient of a number and 10 remember i explained earlier quotient means if you divide something and you get the answer we call it quotient you have a dividend you have a divisor and of course you're dividing and then answer you got is called quotient so a number which is x and tells you that you're gonna divide by 10 or there is another way you can do x over 10 or we can say x over 10 x divided by 10 or 10 x like that all three are it's fine fantastic okay guys let's do the next one so you know you just have to pay attention remember you got to go back to this keyword okay i didn't spend time on it because you can look into those okay all right so now clearly you see 
15 down here 15 so 15 subtracted from a number equal to the product of a number and 3 so let's use our time here 15 subtracted from a number from a number so that should be the start start here on this equal remember this is one sentence equal means equal sign here right so let's translate the first part here so a number in this case x 15 subtracted from a number so x minus 15 okay guys x minus 15 all right then equal to equal to okay the product of a number and three the product of number product number and three so what does it really mean product means look let me show you here that's called product okay I just put down that okay so you see what is product so product of a number and three okay just plainly like that or I can rewrite it actually here x minus 15 equal to 3x that would be fine multiplication order doesn't matter okay so that's how you translate it guys okay and of course either one is fine and you can have this one as the answer also okay all right so let's do this one here f okay so the sum of three times a number we have to be very careful here we got you know the sum so sum means here you go you're going to add one number with another number that's a sum okay that is what is referring to okay so this and in this case refer to the sum and and is going to come as a down here i'm going to actually arrow down here remember that coming from here okay now is equal to let's carry on continuously is equal to that's easier as you clearly see is two times so now two is in the beginning times the sum so there is something here two is outside remember okay so you kind of draw, draw some kind of structure that help you out okay so the sum of i'm going to start from the beginning now the sum of three times a number so three times a number i can actually work it out here three times a number which is 3x i can write down 3x and four remember it's a sum so you add right now they say two times the sum of a number which is same number you want to use same variable you don't want to use different variable in one particular problem and seven and seven look what i did okay now i can just get rid of those boxes i wanted or you don't need even those boxes you can write down 3x plus 4 equal to 2 open parentheses x plus 7 bingo that's how you translate anything given to you step by step and you should be fine doing this kind of problem as you clearly see okay guys you pause it you go through it and try to understand this symbol and also this keyword and any kind of word problem thrown out to you right after today you can easily translate it okay if you have any question concern you can write in a comment after watching this video thank you